So a few years ago, I was invited to a Mathematics of Sustainability workshop at the American Institute of Mathematics in Palo Alto. And at that workshop, mathematicians were paired with industrial partners to address problems uh, focusing on sustainability issues. And I happened to um, be paired up with folks from Driscoll Strawberries, and that was based on my background in mathematical modeling of hydrology applications. The berry farming industry is huge, so they supply over 80% of the strawberries uh, to the United States, and they are overdrawing from the aquifer there. Uh, not just Driscoll berries, but in general that region is very populated and it's an agricultural region. And so what's happening is that there is actually seawater coming in uh, on coastal California and water's not being um, infiltrated back into the aquifer at a high enough rate. And so what they wanted to know was, could we use mathematical modeling and simulation and optimization to try to um, analyze changes in farming practices? So we were actually able to, to show them mathematically in a sense that you know, raspberries are the way to go. At that time, we were in a sense ignoring the market demand and really focusing on water usage because that's a primary um, you know, emerging issue of that region right now. They really are interested in ways of um, replenishing the aquifer and reducing the usage at the same time um, and trying to work together as a community, uh, educating people about water use there and also starting to change practices because it affects everybody. The price of water there keeps going up and it's not just California that's experiencing this. I mean, droughts are happening all over the United States. If you go look in the news, it's, it's there constantly. This is an excellent problem for explaining, I think, to the public in general, not just students, why mathematics is so important, why it is so important for students to have an understanding of how to use it in the real world. This affects everybody, because it's not just strawberries. It's um, almond farms and, and you know wheat and corn and everything across the United States. For this project, um, I have had undergraduates work closely with me uh, we've published a few papers with undergraduates on this, and I've had summer um, research experience for students working with me on this project. I usually bring this example up, especially in my numerical methods class, um, and even in my calculus classes too, to, to try to motivate them to look around at problems and, and look for where they can use mass ma mathematics to solve this. I mean, it's not, it's not just this. It's all around us are sustainability problems that they could be you know, proposing solutions to.